Today I'm going to show you how to create a picture-in-picture -picture effect using a circular mask. Let's get started. So here inside of Premiere Pro, I have my talking head on video layer two. If I turn off this visibility, you can see I have a screen recording underneath and you can see it has a nice 3D effect. If you're wondering how I did that, you can click right up here to watch the tutorial on how to add a basic 3D effect to any screen recording that you're working with. So definitely check that out. So the important thing here is that the screen recording is on video layer one or whatever video you wanna be in the background is on video layer one and the talking head is on video layer two. Now we need to create a mask over my head and then reposition it in the corner of the frame, whichever corner that you want. So for example, we can go to opacity from effect controls and select create ellipse mask. After you do that, what you can do is then reposition it by just clicking and dragging it over the head. And to make it a perfect circle, you can click on one of the points here and press shift and it will create a perfect circle. So make it the size that you want, and then you can reposition it over my head. Now, when we click off over here, you can see there's a little bit of fuzziness around that. If you like it, you can keep it. I personally like a hard edge, so I'm going to take away the feather and bring it down to zero. So now there's no feathering, and then you can click on motion, and this brings up the transform control, so I can just click on this and bring it down in the corner, for example. And from here, I might wanna scale it down just a little bit until it looks right. So let's say here, looks good. Now, what if you wanna add a cool border around it? Well, this is where we can use the essential graphics panel, but first let's create a shape. So we can go down here into our toolbar, and if you click, you can select the ellipsis tool. So let's go ahead and select that, and then we can just click and drag and also hold shift to create a perfect circle. And then what we can do is, first of all, you can see it created a graphics layer in the timeline. So we can drag this out to the duration of our timeline, and then we need to place it behind the talking head. So we need to bring up the talking head layer above the graphic so that way it's behind. And then we can lasso and select both of them and bring it down. So video layer three and video layer two. All right, now we need to center it so that way it's perfectly behind our talking head. So select the graphic and then from essential graphics here with the shape layer selected, we can then use the position controls here to move it into place until it's centered. Now it may be a little bit too thick at first. So what we can do is we can use the scale to scale this down until you get the right width that you want. So I think here's about good. And I think that that looks centered. If you wanna change the color of the circle, you can always go down to appearance and click on fill and you can change your color. So there's a few more things to do, but before we jump into it, my name is Kelsey and welcome back to Premiere Gal. According to my analytics, not a lot of you are subscribed. So if this video tip is helping you out, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I publish more tips on the channel. And this video is sponsored by Mixkit. Mixkit is a fantastic resource, completely free. It has free stock video, free templates, music, and sound effects. So it's great for people that are just starting out in video and they need to find a quick motion graphics template that they can use in their video. And it's completely free. You can go to their website and browse. They have Instagram templates, they have transitions, and they have little sound effects to just spice up your videos. You can use my link below to go check out Mixkit. And I've also done a video reviewing all of their transitions. You can click right up here and the link to Mixkit is just down below. Thanks so much Mixkit for making this resource available. And let's go ahead and jump back into the video. All right, so we added some style to this already, but let's go ahead and add a little bit more. What about a drop shadow? So what we can do to simplify our timeline is we can actually select the talking head and the graphic layer. So you can select both of these layers and you can control click on it or right click and you can select nest or I created a keyboard shortcut. By the way, if you go up to Premiere Pro, you can go to your keyboard shortcuts and here, you can go and search for nest. And I set a custom shortcut, alt plus N, or if you're on a Mac, option N. So you can set that custom keyboard shortcut. So now with both of these clips selected, I can just press option N and it will bring up the nested sequence option. And I can call this 
uh, circular mask. And now it took both of those two layers and it nested it into one layer. So now we're just working with one layer. So this, when I double click on this nest, both of the graphic and the talking head are within that nested sequence. So now what I can do when I go back to demo is I can add an effect directly just to this one layer. So I can go up to effects and search for drop shadow and I can drag and drop this onto the circular mask. And then this is where I can play around with the parameters. So I'll adjust the distance here. You can see the shadow just down here. I'll add some softness to it and maybe increase it so that way you can see it a little bit more. So now when I turn off the effects, you can see the before and the after. So it just adds some nice style. So I highly recommend adding a drop shadow. And here is what it looks like. So it's really easy to do and it's easy to stylize using the essential graphics panel. And let's say that you need to move my head on the opposite side, but you wanna flip it. This is what you can do. You can go to effects and search for flip and you'll find horizontal flip. If you drag and drop this onto the circular mask layer that we created, it'll flip me to the other side. So if my head is blocking something on the other side of the screen, you can use the horizontal flip. So that way I'll be on the other side. And I do this a ton in my own videos. So that's how you create a picture in picture effect using a circular mask. Of course, you can use a different type of mask, like a square mask, if that's more of your style. But this is the style that I've been using personally in my own videos as of late. And if this video helped you out, be sure to subscribe. And if you're interested in some more Premiere Pro tips, you can just click right over here and you can go check out some more videos on the channel. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye.